We just see often verse 18, upon Jesus today. was arrested. You know, I... I think that so many people doesn't realize what Jesus did at the cross. I mean, what He did at the cross, He did it so that me and you may have life eternal. He did it so that we might be free from sin, free from the bondage of sin, so that we might have life eternal. That's amazing. A Christian life begins at the cross. The moment you lay down your own life and you say, Lord, I accept you as my the following program is made possible by the friends and partners of Shaketh Ministries International. Did Jesus make time to spend time with God? He went up alone on the mountain to pray and he prayed for his, his disciples, his church and himself and just after this prayer he was captured, he was ar arrested. But I mean we need to make time to spend time with God. It's so important, intimate times in his presence. Where you sit down, you forget about what happened this week or this today or the day that you're in. I know that sometimes our days get busy and we're running around doing this and doing that, working or whatever, but we need to make, spend, make time to spend time with God. It's important. It's important to read your Bible, to study your Bible, and to allow the Holy Spirit to move through you and reveal His Word to you, because the only way you can understand the Word of God is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And these are a personal recording that I'm making. Because I want to lift up you today and I want you to become drawn nearer to Jesus, spending time in His Word, spending time in His presence, and you will see how much it will bless you. Amen. I mean, the world is busy and in the world there's nothing to be happy about, there's nothing to be, you know, joyful about, you know, and having quietness and peace. But in His presence, there is rest and quietness and peace. And I pray that you will be touched by the fire of God here this morning. So let's go on with this. <laughs> let me just go on and let me help you understand something. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, and that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Isn't this amazing to know? That Jesus died on the cross so that we might have eternal life. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus, God loved you so much that He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus. And He prays this prayer and this prayer as well that you may have life eternal. I mean, He didn't die on the cross so that you may have a rich life, but that you may have an eternal life. Believing in Him. A Christian life begins at the cross. Where you, where you say no to the world and you say yes to Jesus. That's the greatest, that's the most amazing moment in your life. The moment you get born again and you give your life to Jesus. And you say, Lord, You are my everything. No world, you say no to the world. And yes to Jesus. That's the greatest time, the greatest moment of your whole life. So let's go on with this. I glorify life eternal that they might know the, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Jesus said in his word, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh to the Father but by me. 
I've glorified thee on the earth. I've finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, for the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I've manifested thy name unto them unto men, unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. That, that's the twelve disciples, that's Jesus' disciples. They were, and thou gavest me them, them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whosoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, those that are born again as well. Hallelujah. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me. Now hear this beautiful, I love what, it say, what Jesus is praying here. He says, that they may be one as we are one. We just talked about it yesterday. It's the unity that the Holy Spirit brings with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's the unity that me and you as believers that are born again, believers that are filled with the Holy Spirit may be one as God, as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. Hallelujah. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I've kept, and none of them is lost, but the Son, oh, hallelujah, perdition, that the scripture might be filled. And now I come, I come to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have made joy fulfilled in themselves. The gift of God is life eternal. We just see often verse 18, Jesus was arrested. You know, I, <laughs> I think that so many people doesn't realize what Jesus did at the cross. I mean, what He did at the cross, He did it so that me and you may have life eternal. He did it so that we may be free from sin, free from the bondage of sin, so that we might have life eternal. That's amazing. A Christian life begins at the cross. The moment you lay down your own life and you say, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Have you accepted, accepted Him as your Lord and Savior? Have you said yes to Jesus? I just feel right now in my spirit. I just feel right now. Please, just stay where you are. Just close your eyes. And remember this, I can say this prayer, but it doesn't mean that you're born again. You need to make that decision in your heart. Say, Lord, I say no to the world, but I say yes to Jesus. It doesn't mean just you say after the pastor a message, a prayer, that then now you're born again. No, it doesn't work like that. You need to make the decision yourself. to saying, Lord, I make the decision in my heart. Your pastor can't make the decision for you. Your mother can't make the decision for you. Your parents can't make the decision for you. You need to make the decision that yourself. Saying, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And right now, I'm going to give you the moment. And I'm going to pray a prayer, the sinner's prayer. And I want you to set it off to me, but mean it in your heart. You make the decision yourself. Hallelujah. You say off to me, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I've done wrong. I've run away from you. I've lived in the world. I've lived and enjoyed the pleasures of the world. But Lord, this moment, this morning, I come to you. And I confess with my mouth that Thou art the Lord and Savior. That Jesus, You are the way, the truth, and the life. And I repent this morning. I give my life to You. For You are my salvation. And Lord, tonight I decline the world, but I accept You as my Lord and Savior. Come fill me, Lord. Fill me with Your Spirit. Move me, touch me, and shake me, Lord. I love you and I adore you and you are the beginning and the end. And God, you send your only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have 
life eternal. Amen. Just that prayer. You're making that decision in your heart. And I'm telling you, it's the greatest moment of your life. That moment you give your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. Shudur ba shetere bebe. Shakare be shedere be shedere ba shetere bebe.